How you doing? I'm off to work. I got to go in late today. Hopefully traffic's not going to be too bad. I'm behind two construction vehicles right now. One's got a big old spool up there. Looks like they've been running cable. Or they're going to. And I gotta take a load up to Dallas. I gotta pick up a load. Run it up to Dallas. And do all that. I did not turn my cardo on. There we go. Now my cardo is on. The way my boss calls me, wondering why I'm not at work yet, I can answer the phone. I'm not late, but I'm not as early as I should have been. So I got to hook up to a trailer, I got to haul ass and get loaded, I got to be there by noon. It's already 10 o'clock. So, I got to move, you know? I got people in front of me. And this is not the time of day to be, like, speeding, doing 90 mile an hour. You know, officer friendly, done got his coffee, got his donut. And He's sitting there waiting. So basically it's a normal day, except I'm going in later. Anyways, I strapped my bag to my bike and it's just a cheap backpack. I put some straps on it. Is it back there still? Yes, yeah, still back there. What is on my face? A hair. Don't you hate that? Have like one hair in your face when you're going down the road. Like cracking your visor, you're doing all kinds of stuff just trying to blow the hair out of the way. <clears throat> but anyways. I'm wondering what you guys use for luggage. And this is a Lowrider ST. I've got the stock Harley luggage rack on it. The two up. Oh, good lord. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I've got the two up luggage rack on it. And. There's no backrest. That's just a seat. I don't know if I can fit a picture of my bike in the video or not. I might. And you can see what I'm dealing with. If I can, I'm going to try to put it in here, right about here. So, if I just showed you a picture of my bike, I was able to do it. Now, um... I'm getting ready for a trip that I'm going to take next year on my bike and I'm going to go up through Arkansas I'm going to take that what do they call it? it's like a pig trail or something like that in Arkansas from the people that I've talked to that have been on it it's supposed to actually be a, a lot more technical of a ride a lot better than the tail of the dragon that is more famous and then I'm gonna go from there. I'm probably gonna stop by Graceland on my way to the Tail of the Dragon. And then I'm gonna go up. If I can, I got a friend in North Carolina that I'm gonna go see. I have an aunt in Pennsylvania that I'm gonna go see. And I have an uncle in New York who is an old school biker from the 60s. If I'm going up there on a bike, I've got to go see him. <clears throat> He's actually been in tattoo magazines and biker mags and all that. I would tell you his name, but I don't know if he wants that broadcast out over the internet.
but I'm looking at luggage and options. Harley has one that I kind of like that will strap to my luggage rack, but it's expensive. Cycle Gear kind of has one that's about the same thing. I'm going to be gone for two weeks. What is the deal with these hairs in my face? But I'm going to be gone for two weeks. And I might try camping a little bit. And I got a lot of good advice from Magpie. I mispronounced her last name when I interviewed her. And sorry about that. Because I happen to know someone else with a similar last name that's pronounced differently. That's a whole different story. Um, but, what gear am I on? I'm getting ready for that trip. I don't know if I'm going to take it early spring, midsummer, what have you. It's going to be a two week trip. I'll probably try camping a couple of times. A lot of the times I'm probably going to be in a motel room, that sort of thing. So I need to figure out a way. Well, if I can't put back the money, I'm going to be camping a whole lot, you know. <laughs> but definitely when I get up there, when I get up by my aunt's house, I'm definitely going to be um, in a hotel or I'll be spending the night at her house. Same with my uncle. He's up in Champlain. She's down by her. She... That side of my family is where the immigrants came through. Ellis Island, all that good shit. Bunch of little Slavic countries, and then before that, Irish and Scottish. And long time before that, there was some English. Basically every immigrant group that came to this country at one time or another. And if I'm going to wear this jacket, I need the extended mirrors. If I'm not wearing a jacket like this, I can use these mirrors. But if I'm wearing a jacket, I'm just looking at my arms. I mean, I can look behind me like that. But I'd like to be able to just go down the road. I can take the mirrors off my other bike. It's the same damn mirrors. Put them on this one. how it looks but if y'all have any ideas suggestions I know there's some hooks that you can get that go back there where my uh, stuff mounts to I'm thinking about getting two hooks one for each side for the front of the rack because I can tie to them and then I can tie to my luggage rack I can put a roll bag back there and a backpack and any camping gear or any of that kind of stuff. Still kind of working it out, but I've never taken a trip this long before and I probably have a little bit of a, I don't know if you want to call it a, an advantage or what have you and the fact that I drive for a living, I'm used to traveling, I'm not going to have to be relying on, you know, GPS and all that kind of stuff, and where do I go and where is fuel, I, I kind of already have all that in my head, just give me a destination and I just kind of already know where I'm going. I've traveled the country for 27 years. So point me in a direction, I'll tell you probably where I'm stopping and what the waitress's name is as long as, and also what meal that I'm going to eat where I stop.
that can be two things down here. That can be a gator, or that can be a tire. Either way, you don't want to hit either one of them. Especially on a bike. I'm going to be making this trip, and on the way back, if I have time, I want to swing through and go see the Ford Museum. If I don't, I'll do it on the next trip. Depends on my time and what I'm doing. There's a lot of stuff I can see up in New York. And my uncles aren't there on the Vermont line. There's just so much to do there. <laughs> right along that line and not very far from it. I might go see another friend while I'm up there. I got cousins and all that kind of stuff. My mom's side of the family is from down here. And, well, I think they start, yeah, one leg of that family started out in Virginia and kind of worked their way across through Louisiana, up into Oklahoma, and down to Texas. But most of us are down here. My immediate family, people that I would know, like around the Houston area. Branching out from there would be like Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma. And that's where I grew up. Texas and Oklahoma. But I'm coming up with ideas for luggage. Can't be too big, but I don't want it to be too small. I've seen some roll bags that would fit perfectly, but I'm like, are they kind of too small? Or am I trying to carry too much? I'd like to be able to carry at least two or three pair of clothes. Fuck that light. And um, some rain gear. Rain gear would be awesome. A pad to lay on, a tent. know all my hygiene supplies stuff like that I don't know if I'll be bringing cooking utensils I might get one of those small camp sets that fold up into each other I can do a lot with like a potato and an onion a little celery and a couple spices some bouillon maybe some rice who knows I think Magpie had it right. Uh, if you're going to do that, shop local, eat fresh, don't try to carry all that stuff on the bike. She is a wealth of information. I am very glad I got to interview her. So if I feel like camping somewhere and eating homemade food, I just stop at the local grocery store and grab what I need. Then you can end up with too much, but I don't know. Then again, just eating road food for two weeks sucks. I know, I'm a truck driver. That's not good for your belly. That's not good for anything else either. Anymore, I tend to eat like once a day. Too busy. I was having problems paying my note yesterday. Not on this bike, on the other one. That was neutral. It was going through, it was saying you can't pay zero amount, so I got to call them at some point today. So it wouldn't let me put the amount in, and it kept saying zero plus a two dollar fee. Are they having problems with their computer? What's the deal? I do not know. 
might be that while I'm getting loaded. I think I gotta sit in a little room where I'm going. I don't know if I can use my phone though. A lot of places don't let me use my phone. Risk of blowing things up, something like that. I don't know how true that is. I know they used to get real serious about CBs and stuff like that and blasting areas. I don't know about phones. With chemical refineries. But if y'all have any ideas on what gear works for you, y'all know what size bike I'm taking. It's a lowrider ST. I like it, it's nimble. When I took that trip to my sister's wedding, I just had the same bag that I have behind me, some clothes and stuff in it, and I strapped it on. And the bag's still there. Yes, I can reach my bags while I'm riding. There's a couple of reasons I, did, I didn't want to have a sissy bar back there. One is sciatica, which hasn't been bothering me lately, but sometimes it does. Strangely enough, I think riding a motorcycle helps it. It helps kind of build that core. That sort of stuff. Am I in the right gear? I think so. There we go. I'm still debating if I want to put forwards on here. I like the control. I really like the control that the mids give me. I'm going into curves and stuff like that. Especially if I want to ride aggressively. But then again, I'm a little over six foot. So it puts my knees up here. I don't know if you can see that. You might. Depending on what, depending on what view the camera's in. Sometimes it makes it weird, like shifting and stuff like that. But if I've been riding this bike for a while and not another bike, because I switch back and forth between the two, I sort of get used to it. And I have different places to put my feet, so I just put them out there. It's one of the reasons I got those bars, is I can put my feet out there, or I can put my feet back here. And it's fine. Crosby, Texas. Man, that guy's burning lane. That's say lean. I meant rich. Sorry. Have a little problem with words. Too many head injuries. Should I stop? I don't know. I might. I might stop up here and grab something. I gotta be quick if I do. I need to be leaving the yard with the trailer in 40 minutes. Like, I need to be out the gate in 40 minutes. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't need fuel. I don't think I do. I they've been putting me in a new truck, but I'm still driving the old truck too, because the new truck doesn't have hydraulics on it yet. And 
I need hydraulics to run, you know, the pumps on the vac tanks and the roll off and stuff like that. Sometimes this area gets funky when the truck's coming out of there. cover for my bike. Cover it up. So I gotta do that too. I gotta cover my bike up. I don't have much to throw in. Oversized load. And they're blocking the road. My god. Only when you're running late. Come on dude. Go. You're just blocking it for the turn. I gotta think about weight too for my trip of what I'm gonna carry. So I'm gonna be taking some curvy roads and I wanna keep the weight low. It's another thing. I don't know, you, everybody's got that classic, classic image of some biker on a chopper with a big old tall sissy bar and everything strapped to it. I'm kind of thinking keep things lower. That's what I would like to do. Looks like it's green. It might be changing. If it's changing, I'm still going through. Yeah, I need to stop, grab my drinks, that sort of thing. Well, what kind of bags are y'all using? What kind of stuff has helped you making long trips? I've made trips that are like a day out and then a day back. This will be the longest trip I've ever made on a motorcycle. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and get a bag and get kind of start getting used to using it and packing it and everything, going back and forth to work. What I can fit in it, where to put it, that sort of thing. And ha I can use the trips going to work and back because, you know, I'm carrying everything to my truck. And then I'm out for who knows how long, anywhere from a day to a week usually. And I've got to carry everything with me. So I can use that as sort of a practice. Jeans, maybe some chops. 
it's gonna work. Black leather. Or sheepskin. Hadn't seen that in a while. People would notice that. That would be hot as hell though. I think I'm gonna pull in up here, go ahead, grab my drinks. I need a cup holder for coffee. I seriously need a cup holder for coffee. See, I use my turn signal before I turn. It helps like that. Watch for the gravel. Coolness. Well, anyways, it's the end of the video. You can see what I'm carrying stuff with now. I'm going to be carrying everything on this bike, so if you can come up with any ideas that would help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. Catch you later. Adios. Vaya con Dios. Sayonara. Ciao. Deuces yo. Later.